Because of your continuous support, we strive for excellence with all our wraps, so we've been able to wrap, you know, your average car to now wrapping cars like this. What's up guys, this is Andrew with Diamond Graphics. Uh, today, so we're fully wrapping this Mercedes E550 in Avery Dennison gunmetal. It's a matte film. Um, overall, this car is uh, relatively complicated, but one of the most complicated pieces that I wanted to show you kind of how to wrap or how to approach is this mirror. This mirror is super complex, probably gonna do it in about five or six pieces. So I just wanted to walk, walk you through it uh, just to help any of you guys out at home if you wanna try it yourself. So first thing, um, all mirrors are pretty much built the same as far as removing the glass. So the first thing you do with pretty much any mirror is you push it to the side. If sometimes you get a pry tool, I can probably just get it with my hand. You want to make sure not to break the mirror, obviously, but pretty much just like that pops off. You usually have two or three wires. You want to remove them and just remember where they go. So you usually want to take just some sort of small little tool that you can pry the wires off without damaging any of these wires. They get delicate, especially if they're old. And then this one also, so this is probably a heated mirror and a dimming mirror. So that's what these little clips are actually for. So once your mirror is out, uh, this being, this car is probably, you know, 10 years old or so. There's probably going to be a lot of dirt and debris inside of this, so you just want to make sure to extra clean this surface super, super well. So we're just using isopropic alcohol. Just get any and all the grime inside here. So if you take a look at this mirror, uh, we want to cover all this silver area. There's no way to do this in one piece with vinyl. I'm probably going to break this up in like two or three pieces, just so the vinyl doesn't have too much tension and holds down for the long term. So when approaching a mirror like this, um, I'm gonna use a lot of knifeless. I'm not gonna really use blades on this mirror because I could cut it up pretty easily. I'm gonna start with the bottom section and break it up kind of where the body lines are. That way, if I start at the bottom and then do the pieces on top, the seams are facing down, which are less visible and uh, they keep out debris and things like that. It won't build up in them. So there's definitely, you know, multiple different ways to approach this mirror. Uh, the approach that I'm going to use is I'm going to use a lot of pieces uh, and try to seam them so they're hidden. But the more pieces I use is going to take away tension on the vinyl, which will stop it from bubbling and peeling back because I want I don't want this customer to have to come back just to kind of fix a mirror. So I'm going to be doing this bottom piece right here. We have two compound curves here. So instead of placing the vinyl flat, heating it and pushing it in, that's probably not going to hold. Um, and instead of putting the vinyl flat this way and trying to bend it all the way around, that's probably not going to hold either. So my thought process here is putting it probably about 70% inside, 30% outside. So most of the tension will go on the outside, the flatter area, not in these curves right here. So I'll start it there. You know, kind of, see I have extra vinyl here, not as much extra vinyl there. Same thing on this side. So that's probably how I'm going to wrap the rest of it. As you can see, uh, I have a little extra vinyl here and I'll have to stretch it around on the outside, but nothing too crazy. You can see with a little bit of heat, a couple of relief cuts, uh, that, that angle is not that big of a deal. You know, that's not going to pop back. For this outside edge, you want to make sure the vinyl is warm and then bring it over like that. Same with this side. And there we go, that's 80% that's done. So 
that piece is pretty much wrapped. Uh, I'm just gonna pull the knifeless, trim up the edges, and then do that two more times to these sections. So for this section of the mirror, there's kind of like a big uh, valley that you, you tuck the vinyl in. So the idea behind here is I stuck knifeless on the outside of it. I'm gonna pull it and then tuck the remaining vinyl in. And then when I do the other side, I'm gonna put knifeless on this side so it overlaps uh, in this little uh, divot area. So for this time around, we put the knifeless on the far side of this. So when we wrap it, we'll have some extra to tuck in this uh, groove once again. So we're gonna be wrapping pretty much this main section of the mirror. Um, got this tool from Yellow Tools to help kind of uh, distribute the stretch evenly. I'll kind of show you how that works. So now that the film is uh, in this wooden horseshoe looking tool, I'm gonna heat it all evenly. I'm gonna start on the back corner of the mirror and then pull it towards the front. You can feel, you can see how soft the vinyl looks right now. So now it just, it just made the stretch kind of even and I can go back in and, and adjust anywhere that I need. I put masking tape all around this light, any area I did not want the vinyl to stick. That way I have some play, I can maneuver stuff, reposition it if I need to. There's also a blinker light right here so I can make a relief cut. On top of the masking tape, of course. And then I can, I can shift the tension down differently so it goes lower. And again, there's another dinker light here, so I'm going to relief it. You can see we were able to cover most of the mirror in a single piece without discoloring it anywhere. This film is super sensitive, so if you overheat it or stretch it, it kind of looks funky. This is a nice even stretch. All the tension is spread out, so it's not gonna pull back and, and last more than a week when I give it to the customer, so. So after I pulled all the knifeless, trimmed everywhere, tucked it, you just wanna go back with a heat gun and post heat it to kinda of kill the memory of the vinyl, make sure nothing's popping back up. A uh, complex mirror like this, I usually wanna actually keep overnight so I can check it tomorrow, just make sure everything is solid, uh, nothing's lifting or anything like that. So I'll just remove the tape, put the mirror back in, and give it back to the customer.